Listen to your verdict as it is read. Verdict. We, the jury, have reached our verdict as to damages in this case. We award damages to each plaintiff and against... I wasn't that surprised in the sense that Jones really dug his own grave on this. Um, he got himself caught in a default situation where he... he, he they, they chose through their litigation tactics to get in trouble, get default and go straight to damages, um, which was a really misstep because a case like this in defamation with an actual malice standard, it, it, they're tough to win. Um, and, and had he not done that, had he participated in the process, he may be able to, to defend or put up a good fight. Don't there's a few, few moves he can make. You know, he certainly can appeal uh, both the damages award. He may be able to appeal the default, um, you know, and and he has the opposite of bankruptcy. It does have implications for freedom of speech, but I think they're good. And it's going to have an effect on other organizations, the media, as well as others in the public that, hey, you know, we're not completely immune from liability because of the First Amendment. You know, you can poke through it on the right facts. People found out that there was this issue about your company having sent child pornography to my office, correct? That's how people found out about it. Dollars. Initial by juror number one. Two plaintiffs, Jadian Dollars, uh, initial by juror number one.